Today is February 6, 2015. And I'm going to show you something pretty cool you can do with your HP OfficeJet Pro 8625. I just picked this up uh, at Costco for about 170 bucks, and you can do this really cool web scan feature. But first, you need to find out what your IP address is. So assuming you have your printer connected to your network, click on here, click on your little Wi-Fi button here, and up comes your network information, and so you can see my IP address right there, 192.168.0.11. Now remember the dots, 192.168.0.11. Now write whatever yours is down and remember it. So now what we can do, it's really cool, to take something, take this Hobbit Lego thing, stick it in here to scan, And I will scan it from a web page. Okay, open up your web browser and go to 192.168.0.11 or whatever your actual IP address is. Hit enter and this will open up the web server on your printer. And here you can find a few interesting pieces of information like how much ink you have left and a few other things. Uh, but I'm going to do a couple things here. First, I'm going to change the IP address to a static IP address so that hopefully the next time you turn uh, the printer on and off, it keeps the same address. That way you can bookmark it and come back to it again. I mean, worst case, you can go back to the printer and go look at the screen again. Uh, but here you can click on manual IP. I'm going to enter in 192.168.0.35 and hit apply and now what that should do is it should change the address so if I go to 192.168.0.35 there we go I got my page up again now I can go over to now I want now I want to turn the web scan feature tool on so click on tools this is normally turned off so you have to turn it on. Go to, let's see, no, go to settings. Click on security, administrator settings. Click OK. Scroll down here and turn web scan on. Just click on that, hit apply. Once you do that, now, once it refreshes itself, you can actually scan from a web browser, as long as you're within your network. So now I can come here and click on Scan, and I'll choose Glass, which just means on the glass it's not going to feed a document to the top. If you wanted to feed a document to the top, you would choose ADF. Uh, choose JPEG, Color all that the same and then click start scan click OK and now it's telling a scanner to scan and it should show the image up the image should show up right here and there you go so the image is here and you can just take this and zoom in or you can sorry zoom in you can uh, right click and you can copy this image or right click and save it I can just put it on my desktop and there we go now I've got it on my desktop that easy I want to do it again I can go oh you know what I want to scan as a high res photo I want it to be on high I want it a little bit lighter and start a scan click OK and scan the document again, which is kind of cool. So you can sit back and it's easy enough to scan from it, but it's really nice that you can do it in a web browser. That way you can actually grab your scan really quick and download it. Now the other nice thing you can do, I could go grab a, okay, another thing you can do is you can scan it 
in stuff in the feeder. So I'm gonna go put a document in the feeder. So now I have a document in the feeder. And rather than glass, I'll choose ADF, which is gonna make a PDF. It's a single-sided document, but you can scan double-sided back and forth if you want. I'll just go down to text, I'll go to screen, and I'll click start scan. Hit OK. Now this is really cool, it'll actually feed through, scan every single piece, and make a PDF. And it'll take a little while because it actually has to scan every single document and I probably put four or five pages on it. Oh, looks like I put them in upside down. Uh, but anyway, that was my own fault. So I can click Oh, did I not do that right? PDF, color. Click Save As. There we go, put it on my desktop. Boom, save. And there's my PDF, which I put in backwards, unfortunately. But it's just that convenient. I think it's a lot easier way to use it because then you can just use a web browser to get your documents out rather than going back and forth or trying to save it to a certain location on your own hard drive and this way anyone who has a web browser who's on your network can get to it and use it